Hello everyone and welcome back to the Pillars of Eternity oh, Let's Play And uh, we're here at the Goose and Fox Inn Just having rested and apparently a deer wants to talk to me The dozens Pretty sure you won't find one among them who stood within a hundred miles of that bridge when the God Hammer went off Too bad too Then there'd be less of them Why do they call themselves the dozens? Twelve deer woodens stood outside Halgate Citadel waiting for Wade Wade went to cross the bridge there. They had to hold him there long enough for Godhammer to detonate, so that's what they did. Godhammer. That's what they call the bomb they blew up Wade Wynn with. Don't know much about it other than that. Anything kills a living god, guess you gotta name it. Oh, right, okay, that makes sense. Godhammer. Kind of neat. What do you have against the dozens? Uh, nothing serious. Nothing I don't ha have against a lot of folks, anyway. The dozens, they like to take things into their own hands. It gets ugly sometimes. We don't have them in Gilded Vale, but they'd be right at home there. They picked that name so they could do what they wanted and feel like it was right. Got nothing to do with honor or sacrifice. They like to invoke Magrin, too, when they especially want to feel right. Somehow I don't think she'd be too impressed with that lot. I'm sure she'd like to set him on fire any time they use her name, but God's probably got rules against that kind of thing. <laughs> Too bad. I wouldn't mind saying something like that. Proof that the gods are just what I wouldn't give for a little of that. Let's continue on. Good idea. Hey. Yeah, I guess we will continue on. Not really sure where to go next. Monks have powerful unarmed attacks, but can use any of their abilities with standard melee weapons. So some of their abilities can be used when they choose. Many require them to take damage and generate wounds. Okay, let's take a look at the map now. Ooh, pretty. Oh, whatever happens, at least we're out of that mud hole, Gilded Vale. <laughs> I grew up in Gilded Vale. Quaint. That's what I meant to call it. No, nope. you had it right. <laughs> I love that bickering. That's great. Marketplace. Renesk's house, wherever that is. And that's Den Expedition Hall. Scrimmer's dormitory. Another house. Hall of the Revealed Revealed Mysteries. First fires. Catacombs. Reckonbury. Head to the mar marketplace, I guess. The chill claims another curious soul. What's that? I'm crier. A Jessicar. What is it? I'm looking for the temple of Odika. Huh. If you say so. It's in the fir it's in first fires, just west of Crucible Keep. Is that right there? Oh wait. Ah. Let's see what this person's got. Ooh, hello. Seal of faith. Only usable by priests. Plus one first level spells. Second level and third. That actually sounds kinda useful. Scroll of the Maelstrom. You know what? I think we will buy it. Thank you. I have use for such a thing. At least he does. Hmm? Excellent. Hey. Hey. Okay. Now we have no money. Pretty much nothing in here. We probably actually need to go to like the endless dungeon. Alright then. The endless paths or do something that would actually gain us some uh, money. 
to digress. We have a temple to go to. And as you can see, the frame rate is kind of low here. Scriveners. Historian. Refugees. minutes to get there. So there are apparently large like, breaks or travel distances. Well, not large, but somewhat. You know, still travel distances between one place and another in this city. I kind of like Baldur's Gate 1, how uh, the city of Baldur's Gate, it was actually, all the maps of it were uh, combined together. I really like that. That was kind of neat. This game doesn't seem to do that, but that's okay. This place is also pretty big. Ducal Palace and Crucible Keep. Temple, here it is. Fast mode activated. Check out uh, this area. This would be the temple Meerwald spoke of, or what remains of it? Seems like a wreck. Praise to the exiled queen. May her crown be restored and her justice prevail. Come to pay your respects to the queen that was. What are you doing here? Worshipping Woodica, the exiled queen and oathbinder. I come every day to offer my devotion. I'd love nothing more than to book passage back to Adia, but it is my Emperor's wish that I serve in these barbaric lands. And so I do. Woodica, not Wodica, which is very strange. You should have two O's if you want to call it Woodica. Woodica! It's truly a pity to see what the locals have done to Boudicca's house of worship. Hm. Told I'd find it. And so you did. These savage colonists may have burned it down, but worship of the Oathbinder is alive and well. These stairs lead to the main sanctum. These stairs, of course. The sanctum was always below ground, adjacent to the catacombs. So it wasn't destroyed by the fires. Tell me where I find an entrance to these catacombs. There are various entrances throughout Defiance Bay, but I dare say the easiest to reach is in Copper Lane. I haven't been to that part of town in ages, but as I recall, it's somewhere near the southern gate. Yeah, we saw it. You know that you're a ghost, right? I beg your pardon? Is this some sort of joke where you come from? <laughs> I'm serious. Just look at yourself. A madhouse. That's what this town really needs. Hmm. Goodbye. Huh. Apparently those stairs are blocked. Interesting. So I guess we'd have to go back to the catacombs. Well, that sounds... Delightful. Wait, that's the right way, isn't it? No, it doesn't matter. Now we can get to there, but we're gonna go here. As your character makes choices in conversations and quests, he or she will start to develop reputations. Both generally and with specific factions, characters in the world will respond to these choices in good and bad ways. Uh, yeah, of course. We haven't really been able to start seeing that much. You have said you fought in the Saints' War, but for which side? The one that blew up my guy. I didn't mean anything by it. I imagine a man with a head made of fire and light would be very convincing. Funny thing about Dear Woodens. With all that fire and light, they just treated him like another authority figure.
This elderly man paces back and forth, taking short, hobbled steps. His gaze is distant, and beneath it are the dark rings of many restless nights. He appears to be having a conversation with someone who isn't there. The way you fought, cutting down two at a time, we shared quite a victory, you and I. Who are you talking to? The man looks up at you, startled. My, oh, by the flame. For just a moment, I thought I heard her. He puts a hand on his chest, catching his breath. I see. I must be going. What's with all the crazy people here? I'm going the right way, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. Cross this bridge. Pretty water. Skin flint. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go in here. Down into the catacombs. Yeah, it's funny how barbarians actually have like a, like a AOE attack range, basically. But they need high intelligence for that to work really well. Inventor ain't that smart though, as you can see. So he actually has less of an effect. Poor guy. Very high dexterity though. Our dexterity is good. Dead initiate. Let's talk to it. As we approach the dead man, you can feel the faint traces of his soul lingering, a stunned uncertainty, uncertainty holding it in place. When you near, without warning, the soul hurries towards you, as though you are solitary light in the dank gloom of this place come to usher it away. Its essence invades your consciousness. You are in a different body now, walking deeper into the catacombs, a cloaked in a dark robe with a mask pulled over your face. You're following a familiar path along the canal, heading to a room built around a statue of a figure wearing a robe much like yours. Others await, clothed in hoods and shadows. Ahead is another figure dressed like you, He's traveling in the same direction. You don't know his name, and that's how it's supposed to be. Out of the darkness, something monstrous grabs the other figure. You turn and flee, but find yourself face to face with a troll. The panic pounding through your brain is interrupted by razor-edged teeth and claws. You snap yourself out of the dead man's memory. The corpse lies on the damp and grimy ground. His hood and mask are missing and his clothes are shredded. Apparently he got bitten by a troll. Wonderful. Vicious smells. Smelling sludge ebbs in the trench. Well? Bring them down! Grave does he love. Bam! Barely injured. Okay, we're gonna try to knock this thing down. Well? Uh, I am also gonna try to use this Psycho Vampire yes. shield thing. I'm gonna try to use that. Yes? We're gonna try to use this. Yes. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, oh so a new ability. Fascinating. Hey. Hey. Course. Mr. Black. Rave, lost you leave. Whoa, that thing is massive. Well, I'm here. 
All right, then. I'll see what I can find. Oh, oh, that's an easy way to get gold. Oh, memorials. Interesting. Blank. Man, that never was and yet was awesome. <laughs> what? I'm guessing these are uh, some of the backer uh, thingies. The shards of Long Long. Missing you, MM. Love you more. XXXOOO. Swedish chef. I hope they don't put anything too cliche on the gravestone. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I think, therefore, you are the lurker. <laughs> Thomas Giblin. The brain in the astral plane falls mainly on the elder brain. Okay. Realize Tom Rigney, an atheist, all dressed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> Logic and proportion have fallen sloppy dead, and the white knight is talking backward, and the red queen's off with her head. Remember what the dormouse said, feed your head, feed your head. What? User? Eureka. <laughs> May ye always be a seeker of truth, for ignorance is the greatest crime one can inflict upon themselves, and in doing so lets the lies and, e and the evils of the world go unchallenged. True. There's nothing here for him. Yucus. Once tormented, now eternal. Fun. Wait and hope. Okay. Lost in the White March. I owe you one. I'm not really dead. I'm just pretending. <laughs> oh, really? Corn. Working with the Lords of Dresses to end the tyranny of the Harbingers of Death across the realms and still cheaper than Vandoon. Remember, Dirk cannot be cursed. Okay. You all have a debt. To nature do. I've paid mine, and so must you. Excellent poem. In memory of his wallet, may the Pillars of Eternity guide its contents to proper use. Eh? Hmm? What are the Pillars of Eternity? Alright then. Guess we'll never know. We can stop sneaking now. Uh, we haven't fixed Haven forever. Lesser black. We're gonna shoot that one. He's gonna shoot that one. I'm gonna shoot him. Bam! Almost one shot of that. One. Bam! Bam! I love okay. how much damage that thing does. It's great. Ooze plasma. Of course. Then more gravestones. Excellent. Jail Carpenter. Everybody spells my name wrong. <laughs> Poor guy. Sometimes endings are really just the beginning of something new, something more amazing. That's a cool one. Be kind to animals. Don't eat them. <laughs> well, they do serve a purpose that we do eat them every once in a while. Corgis are great. Okay. My class is rogue. You look surprised to see me. If you'd been paying attention, you might still be alive. I guess maybe the same should be said about you, eh? John Mickling. Keep your mouth shut. They might think you are a total idiot, but they can never prove it, as long as you keep your mouth shut. Actually, if you just ask questions, the right questions, you can make everyone else look like idiots. Phantom Physicist. Hope this brings you tons of joy and happiness. I wish the best for you and all your kin. Interesting. He's the best around. Nothing's ever gonna keep him down. <laughs> okay. Nope. It's pronounced nuclear. Or is it pronounced nusular? Or nucular? Or nusular? You never know. Flectricy nekusuperos blah blah blah. I don't know what that means. Nothing. 
Don't panic. Sir <laughs> Bitjoker. He did not believe in miracles. He relied on them. That's a great way to live, if you ask me. Actually, no, it's a terrible way to live. Well, well, let, let, let me think. Believe in miracles, but rely on them. Well, depends on what kind of miracles, you, what the sorts of the miracles are from where you're relying them from on. I think something like that. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, moving on. While soldiers meet in hope for strife and focus splits twixt hill and plain, danger itself begins to pray. Hope remains whilst prayer lives. Wanton perfect moment is all to stop eternity. Hmm. Okay. John, the detective. There is death in the clouds. There is fear in the night. For the dead in their shrouds hail the sins turning flight and chant wild in the woods as they dance around a yule altar flung ghosts and white. Okay. Bernardo di Medici. Service in all things to Republic of the Silver Sun. Kai. Kaladan. Okay. There are all adventurers in the great landscape of life. Be aware of those around you, but never stop exploring what life has to offer. Never give, give up on your own happiness and never lose hope. It's a great message. Yeah, that's actually a really great message. Well played by him. Just, this episode is just going to be me reading, t me reading tombstones. I like reading these things. It makes me talk about interesting things about what people have to say. Rain and chaos. I would pre prefer to rain in order. Maybe a mix between the two. An even balance is healthy, if you ask me. Antiquis tabers nati tibis blah 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 blah. Don't know what that means. Kelly Katia Bristol. Remember that man lives only in the present. In this fleeting instant, all the rest of his life is either past and gone, or not yet revealed. Yep, that is true. Live in the now. Anything in the past is dead. Kavjo was the legendary god slayer. Some stories have been told that he wanders, wa wanders the lands, searching for his next victim. I think it should be wanders. The person must have misspelled it. Uh, for his next victim. Others say he is dead. No one knows for sure. He may be next in his list. Right. A mage of knowledge on quest forever. He would voyage through Prexus without delay, finally yielding in stasis. He proclaimed to whomever, May the br bridges I burn light my way. CDX. From the girl, from the shoulders of giants, he tried to look ahead, but didn't see the branch that passed and banged his head. Okay. Which has been my DM since I was 10 years old. 30 years later, I'm still playing his games. I'm proud to support Pillars, and I'm elated to see it happen. Well, good on you, buddy. Willis Kelly. To my friends that shared many a D20 RPG and the good times we've had. Icy hills, pizza runs, bone breakers, arguments, jokes, duels. Flirtons and dr drinks and more drinks. Okay, that's nice. Scowl. Scale. Gull. Once unseated, twice retreated, thrice defeated, never conceded. That's excellent. Excellent memorial. Little bird, we were supposed to be your guardians. We failed our duty, but you paid the price. May your soul rest with the gods. Tayamun. Or one five. He died as he lived, surrounded by family, books, and good games. <laughs> Eagle. I think people can generally trust me, but they can trust me exactly because they know they don't have to. What? Okay. Eagle's the name of uh, some eagles. Brother? Half brother? From Lord of the Rings? I don't remember. Uh, little bird. I already read that one. Give and spend. An obsidian will send. <laughs> Mostly harmless. <laughs> cute little rabbit. <laughs> That's cute. In memory of my father, Charles Douglas Woodward. Aww. What the crap? <laughs> Who did this? Why would you do this? Oh my gosh. I like how it's... The That's funny. Nothing seems to be written on this memorial stone at first glance, but eventually you see there is something barely readable written on the stone. Please go and find Brad Furris, the innkeeper. What? Deathhawk. Here lays Deathhawk, a young explorer that fell prey to the trap that he was setting to catch his prey. Interesting. Okay, last one. 
Daniel Eisbanger. I only frown when I'm Yumo Papistin. <laughs> okay. HG Wells, I told you so, you darn fools. A Smith, a man out of time, the flame flickers, yet remains, the next trail awaits. Okay. Thank you for keeping the spirit of Western RPGs alive. You're welcome. I'm not the one doing it, though. I'm just playing them. Duran the Dim, never before was a paladin so foolish. Who could not tell the good from the ghoulish? Poor guy. Another Doran, Doran the Demon. May betrayal and blood follow him for eternity. Face always the sharp sword. Yep. If you're reading this, I spent too much on Kickstarter. <laughs> no, you did not. You spent the perfect amount on Kickstarter, brother. Okay, Drog. Where shall I find you? You, my grotesque fellows, that I seek everywhere to make up my band. Okay. Rip balls brood. Angelica level 1 through 5. I wonder what this switch is for. <laughs> Matthew's level 1 through 1. Come on, it's just a skeleton. <laughs> Martin, level 1 through max. I'm invincible. <laughs> Peter, level 1 through 3. This arc looks nice. Let's talk to him. Interesting. Christian E. Touch Batagalo. Journey through famous gates of coastal lands, braving icy mountains at the end of the world, amid many dimensions of the multiverse, in search of my inner self. Fortunately, an endless journey. Okay. J. Apple, only the dead have seen the end of war. Indeed. The slave frees himself from his chains only to find he is bound by a stronger set of chains. Ah, that depends. I could actually go on and on about something like this. Hmm. It depends on what freedom really is. Now, slavery is like you're forced to do something for free or face the consequences. You're it's forced labor. Slavery is a forced labor. Forced labor. But uh if you're not in a forced labor, um having to do something otherwise there'll be consequences, then yes, you will be free. Technically speaking, there are many slaves in the world still because we are Many people are forced to do things, um, otherwise there will be uh, major consequences. For instance, if you don't pay your taxes, you go to jail. Because you can't pay your taxes. Or if you can't pay your taxes, you go to jail. Because you can't, you know, you need money to do that. And if you don't have money to do that, well, you go to jail. So that is a consequence of not being able to do something. So technically, you're kind of forced to do that. So technically, you could consider anyone who has to pay taxes as a slave. But, you know, that's kind of a touchy subject, and you probably don't want to hear it about anything like that. But anyway, here we go. Here lies T.E. the Overspender. If you are reading this, then I am gone. I have fought many dragons and visited the deepest dungeons. Alas, my wife appears to have found out how much I spent on this memorial. Have a beer for me. <laughs> well played. Nice. That's... <laughs> Excellent. They're in Valence. He gave himself so that the world might live. Forever at home and at ease with family. That's a nice end. Eric Fate. Old, not wise, just worried. Hmm. Ventured forth before gathering his party. <laughs> what? That's not possible. Warren Powell. Nothing. Yeah, that's sad. I really like these that are kind of like aware that they've kickstarted this and they're just ending up on a memorial. <laughs> that's excellent. Quite excellent. Hey, what's this? Ah, I knew that was gonna be trap. You can undo it. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, fine mail armor. You only have crappy mail armor, don't you? Who else uses mail armor? Don't I use mail armor? No, I use that. He uses uh, armor damage reduction is seven. As damage reduction is eleven. Thanks for armor. You're on second chance. Oh, so that's so. Let me. You know what? I think you should have this chainmail, and you should have this, because I would certainly like it if he could, you know, resurrect, have a second chance at living again whenever he goes down, because he goes down a lot. I shall be discreet. Uh, really. 
Ooh, stuff. Ooh, lockpicks. Excellent. I'll see what I can find. What's this? Oh, more traps, obviously. Oh, what's this? Nature's Embrace. Burn damage reduction bonus, freeze damage reduction bonus, spell holding, wood skin. And these are periods. Or however you pronounce that. It's a waste. Oh, cool. That's wood skin. What is it? Does that mean my skin is wood? I don't know. Okay. Of course. Okay. Let's uh, head down here. Uh, we're going to quick save because... Actually, we ought to stop there. So yeah, I guess this episode is just me wa or reading uh, those memor mem mem memoirs. Yeah. So, thank you for watching, and we'll have to see you in the next one when we continue through these sewers or... Um, Catacombs. They seem more like sewers if you ask me, but you know, whatever the developers want to call it, all part of them.